So March has two holidays in it. Background change! Hello my lovely babies! Welcome back! Today's video is all about the Arctic V8 Mini! Alright guys, better late than never. Today I am doing a video for the Arctic V8 Mini. When the Arctic came out by Horizon Tech, I was so impressed. It was one of my favorites. It was wildly popular and I know there's been a couple different versions now. This is the Arctic V8 Mini. I tried the V8 I think from Indoor Smokers and that one is just huge and just like I, this one might be a little too much for me even, but we're going to try it out. So here is the packaging. Now really quick, this is a top fill 3 mil capacity with an RTA optional base. So with the kit you are going to get the tank itself with a coil installed, some extra glass and o-ring pieces, as well as an extra coil. Look how huge that freaking coil is. Here is the huge freaking coil. And I don't know how well you can see in there, but this is the hive coil. And here is the tank itself. This one is black. It comes in silver as well. It has a 22 millimeter diameter and it has the specialty V coil system. It is compatible with the standard V coils as well. This is especially designed and configured. The coil installed is the tiger coil. This also is has the snake coils as well. This is a Pyrex glass tank and it has adjustable airflow at the bottom and a 510 connection. Each airflow slot is 7 millimeters by 2 millimeters. It has a spiral splash proof vent which drastically reduces spit back and it is a stainless steel body as well. So the hive coils, which it comes with one, is a 0.3 ohm coil. It's good for 80 to 120 watts and it's double dual twisted canthal. The tiger coil which it also comes with are 0.3 ohms and good for anywhere between 60 and 80 watts and this is a mixture of flat and round twisted canthal. Now these are the snake coils and they are sold separately and they are 0.3 ohm. They are good from 40 to 70 watts and this is flat canthal wire twisted around round canthal wire. And just in case anyone was wondering the coils are 100% Japanese organic cotton. So the V8 mini is one of the first sub ohm tanks to extensively utilize specially configured wire formations outside of Clapton coils and I've seen this go from anywhere from like 30 to 35 dollars depending on where you shop so let's fill her up and give her a vape. To fill it you just take the top off right here and fill in there. Today I'm actually filling it up with an oldie but a goodie, the Milkman by the Vaping Rabbit. I was absolutely in love when this fruit flavor first came out and so I want some now. I got another bottle of it because I wanted to show some love to the oldie but goodie. All right, I have it all filled up here and I'll let it wick up nice and for a long time because this is a huge coil. All right, so this tank is nice and wicked up. I do have my MVP set at 50 watts. I am just such a low wattage vapor that I don't I don't enjoy vapes at high wattages so even if the recommended wattage range is a little higher I always tend to vape a little bit lower than the recommended range. Of course my MVP wants to die on me right in the middle of a video like that's nothing new so I popped it on my Cool Fire 4 Plus and did not adjust the wattage because 30 watts is not enough to power this. Not this coil. Nope. Holy crap. Woohoo! Cloud bitch. Oh my god. Wow. I am impressed. This thing is chucking the vapor. The flavor is really good. The airflow, it's really airy, but I feel like if I turned it down, it would be choky for me personally. But it sounds pretty loud. Wow, this thing is freaking chucking the vapor. Man, I guess I really was missing out when I didn't try the V8 when it first came out. But um, I'm always down for mini versions of anything because I don't like super huge vapes or super huge tanks anyway. I'd be really interested to see if that spiral spitback 
prevention thing actually works because spit back is like I think spit back is worse than leaking because the spit back is always hot and burny where leaking you just gotta clean it up it's just a little messy but damn this thing is vaping great right out of the box <laughs> too much vape if you guys want to see a one month update for this tank make sure to let me know down in the comments below and if I get enough requests I will definitely make that happen I'm really liking how much vapor and how much power this has in it I'd like to hear from you guys if you have tried the Arctic V8 mini what you thought of it good or bad I always love to hear other people's opinions maybe something you'd want me to watch out for for a one month update if you're interested in seeing that video might have mentioned it looks great on this black on white on black now all I need is a white vape band to go around it. That would be perf. I will put a link below where you can check out the Arctic V8 Mini for yourself if you're interested. But that's all the time we have for for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload random videos of whatever I feel like. So if you want to see more of me that isn't vaping related, you can check out that channel and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always i'm tia vapes and thank you so much for watching what do you guys think of my easter background i don't know if you can see it because it's kind of far away but there's little tiny baby chickies everywhere little little chickies they're so freaking cute can you see them all they're so they're like all over little little chicks